Dear Congregation, Today, we gather with heavy hearts burdened by the weight of failure. Whether it's a shattered dream, a missed opportunity, or a mistake that looms large, failure has a way of casting a shadow over our lives. But in the midst of our struggles, we find hope in the promise of redemption. Through the lens of faith, let us explore how failure can be transformed into a catalyst for growth, resilience, and ultimately, redemption. Proverbs 24 16. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again, but the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. Failure is not the end of the road but rather a stepping stone on the journey of growth. Just as a seed must first break open to sprout new life, so too must we embrace failure as an opportunity for renewal and transformation. By acknowledging our failures with humility and courage, we open ourselves to the lessons they carry and the growth they inspire. James 1 2-4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. In the crucible of failure, we discover the refining fire of wisdom. Rather than dwelling on our mistakes with despair, let us approach them with a spirit of curiosity and reflection. What lessons can we glean from our failures? How can they shape us into wiser, more resilient individuals? By embracing failure as a teacher rather than a tormentor, we unlock the door to personal growth and maturity. Romans 5 3 5. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Failure has a way of testing our resilience, pushing us to the brink of our endurance. Yet, it is in these moments of trial that our true strength is revealed. As we lean into the embrace of God's unfailing love, we discover a wellspring of resilience within us, empowering us to persevere in the face of adversity. Let us therefore stand firm in the knowledge that our struggles are not in vain, but rather a testament to the depth of our faith and the resilience of our spirit. Psalm 34 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. In the depths of failure, we find ourselves enveloped in the loving embrace of God's grace. He is not a distant observer but a compassionate companion, walking alongside us in our moments of brokenness and despair. It is through His grace that our failures are transformed into opportunities for redemption, our weaknesses into strengths, and our sorrows into joy. Let us therefore surrender our failures to His loving care, trusting in His promise to bring beauty from ashes and joy from mourning. 2 Corinthians 12 9. But He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. In the crucible of failure, we discover the hidden purpose behind our pain. Our trials, though daunting, are not without meaning. Just as gold is refined in the furnace, so too are we refined in the fires of adversity. It is in our moments of weakness that God's strength is made perfect, His grace shining brightly amidst our struggles. Let us therefore embrace our trials with faith and perseverance, knowing that they hold the key to unlocking our true purpose and potential. Colossians 3 13. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. In the aftermath of failure, it is easy to harbor resentment and bitterness towards ourselves and others. Yet, true healing can only begin with forgiveness. Just as God extends His grace and forgiveness to us, so too are we called to extend grace and forgiveness to ourselves and those who may have contributed to our failures. By releasing the weight of unforgiveness, we create space for healing and restoration to take root in our hearts, paving the way for new beginnings and renewed hope. 2 Corinthians 4 7-9 But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. In a world that often values strength and self-sufficiency, we are reminded of the power found in vulnerability. It is in our moments of authenticity, when we lay bare our struggles and failures, that God's power shines brightest. For it is when we are weak that He is strong, working miracles in the midst of our brokenness. Let us therefore embrace vulnerability as a pathway to deeper intimacy with God and authentic connection with others, knowing that in our weakness, His strength is made perfect. Romans 8 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Even in the darkest moments of failure, we are called to persevere in hope, trusting in the promises of God. 
Though our circumstances may seem bleak, we can take comfort in the knowledge that God is working all things together for our good. Every setback, every disappointment, is but a stepping stone on the path to His purpose and plan for our lives. Let us therefore cling to hope with unwavering faith, knowing that the God who began a good work in us will be faithful to complete it. Proverbs 15:32. Whoever ignores instruction despises themselves, but whoever heeds correction gains understanding. Failure offers us valuable feedback for growth. Instead of viewing it as a reflection of our worth, let us see it as an opportunity to gain insight and understanding. By embracing a growth mindset, we can learn from our mistakes, adjust our approach, and move forward with newfound wisdom and resilience. Galatians 6 2. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. In times of failure, it's essential to lean on the support of fellow believers. Surround yourself with a community of faith who can offer encouragement, prayer, and practical help. By sharing our burdens with one another, we not only lighten our load but also experience the love and care of Christ expressed through His body, the Church. Psalm 103 8-10 The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will He harbor His anger forever, He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. Just as God extends compassion and grace to us, so too should we offer ourselves the same kindness and understanding. When faced with failure, resist the urge to be harsh or critical towards yourself. Instead, practice self-compassion, recognizing that you are beloved by God regardless of your performance, and allow His boundless love to heal and restore your heart. Proverbs 16 9. In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. While we may strive for success and control over our circumstances, ultimately, it is God who determines the outcome. Surrender your need for control to His sovereign will, trusting that He is working all things together for your good, even in the midst of failure. Rest in the assurance that His plans for you are perfect, and His timing is always right. Philippians 4 6-7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. In moments of failure, turn to God in fervent prayer. Pour out your heart before Him, expressing your fears, doubts, and frustrations. As you seek His presence, may you find peace that surpasses understanding, knowing that He hears your prayers, understands your struggles, and promises to never leave nor forsake you. Beloved, in the face of failure, may you be anchored in the unchanging truth of God's Word and the unfailing love of your Heavenly Father. May you find strength in the fellowship of believers, comfort in the embrace of His grace, and courage in the assurance of His sovereignty. Remember, failure is not the end of your story but merely a chapter in the journey of faith. Trust in God's redemptive power to turn your setbacks into stepping stones and your trials into triumphs. With Him by your side, you can face every challenge with hope and resilience, knowing that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. Amen.